Welcome back to Coffee Break. My name is Matt Warbeck. With me today, I have Andrew Bolin. Hey, Andrew. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, I just wanted to have you on. Uh, you were an account manager, but you're also a data dabbler here at Sherpa, which is basically you're part of the digital marketing team. You build, help build reports, look through data, try to tell stories and insights and recommendations. So uh, today, I thought it'd be cool if you could come on. Uh, it looks like you've prepared a couple um, kind of how to's, pointers, uh, what not to do's for businesses or organizations in regards to their digital marketing or, or analytics. So uh, please take it away. Yeah, sure. Uh, the first two points I have are when you're first starting out your campaign. Um, the first one is about overreacting. Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone wants to put that campaign and the next day they want to see sales. They want to see impressions. They want to see click throughs. And it's not always about getting immediate returns on your stuff. Yeah, everyone loves to see that, but campaigns take time, loyalty takes time, getting customers to build on your brand and like what you do takes time. Um, so the one warning I have is just don't, don't be short-sighted with what your brand is doing. Brand awareness takes a long time to build, and even if someone looks at your ad, maybe clicks and looks at your website and then jumps off, it doesn't mean they're a dead client. You can still keep advertising to them and they may come back later because now they know who you are. Right. And on the flip side of that, at the start of the campaign, <laughs> you want to fail fast and you want to fail cheap. So we do a lot of A-B testing here or even A-B-C testing. Yeah. You want to see kind of what creative works out there, what copy works, what groups you should be targeting, and then look back at your analytics after a couple weeks or a month and then flip and keep going from there. Um, now going into your campaign a little longer yeah. and now picking more into your analytics, it's use, use tools that are available to you. Google Analytics has great reporting. I mean, if you're using something like Sprout Social, you can see dashboards on there for quick insights into them. Um, so just use leverage the tools and the reporting and the dashboards that's already built into the software tools that you are using for your campaigns. Any, any particular tools that you've seen that are, that are great right now? Um, I like using Sprout Social or even just Google Analytics. It's a good high level and it's easy enough to quickly dig into it. Um, if you're running a bigger kind of agency or bigger marketing across multiple mediums, so we're talking about social media, um, Twitter, Instagram, and then you're doing SEM spend as well, I mean, you want to maybe go into something like Clipfolio or do something custom like a Tableau. Tableau, okay. Your and then, that, yeah. yeah, and then that way you can kind of integrate your marketing campaigns together to make sure that you're telling a story as one big picture instead of fragmented pieces. Mm -hmm. um, and then as for marketers, we're always trying to prove of what we're saying works. Um, so the one big thing about it is always going back at the end of the campaign and just building that success story and finding tidbits and trends that you can then apply into your next campaign. 